Today has started a new series on the channel rather unexpectedly. So I'll tell you how this whole thing began. I logged into GTA Online thinking it was going to be just a normal session. Um, and it turned out to be the complete opposite. Basically this guy invited me to join his CEO. So I thought, you know what, I'll give him a hand. Help him out. Doing gun running missions with the double money event going on at the moment. Um, then as we get to the third package to get delivered um, behind us three oppressor mark twos all coming in one direction rather intimidatingly so, so me being me I'm there thinking right I'm gonna jump out of the jet I'm in getting onto an oppressor and take them out before they take us out and ruin everything um, so I jump out of the jet jump on me oppressor take him out quite easily uh, at the time I was thinking okay piss easy then I thought you know that might have been a bit too easy uh, I then get <coughs> a message on my screen saying that I am now bad sport yes because I tried defending what we were doing I got put in to bad sport. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, well actually no, I'll start with this. If you don't know what a bad sport is, it's basically something you get when you destroy too many people's personal vehicles. Um, and you have to destroy quite a few in a large significant amount of time. Um, so yeah, that's how I got it. However, I, I'm going to start off with this. Rockstar do not know the difference between bad sport or helping people. They don't know the difference apparently because I, yes, okay, guilty. I go around destroying people's personal vehicles. But I only go around destroying people's personal vehicles of the people who go around killing others for no reason. Bounties, fair enough. You kill someone once, fair enough. But if, if I see your name pop up constantly, over and over again, killing the same person about 15 times, I normally step in and do something. I give them a hand, I help them out. That's how I've managed to get bad sport. Not because I go around killing for no reason to raise my KD. I don't care about my KD. To be honest, my goal for my KD is just get it to 2. That's it. That's all I want. I just want to get it to two. But I will only take out those who kill for no reason. Being the people who are like level 500 and thinking they're invincible. It's the only reason I do it. Or did until now. Now I feel like I don't even want to help people because of this. So there we go. But I had a look. Um... Obviously this didn't happen, a message has just popped up saying that my time lasting in bad sport is now one day, I think it's 23 hours and something minutes. I'm kind of glad, to be honest, because I thought it was be like a week or something stupid, but I'm guessing it goes up more every time you destroy personal vehicles, I guess. Um, but I'm basically forever now for the time being not going to destroy anything I'm just going to drive around which is all I wanted to do with the beginning of the day so there we go but yeah that's how um, this series is started so I hope it hopefully for my sake it won't be a long series um, but this is day one of uh, GTA prison basically because this is what bad sports feels like I don't belong here I'm just going to say that now, I'm sure a lot of people would say that they don't belong in bad sport lobbies, but I generally don't belong here. Um, I only kill, I only destroy vehicles for the good reasons, to help people, to protect them. I mean, I, I even changed my motor motorcycle club name to Player of Security, so... But yeah, my life in prison has started. So, hopefully it won't be a long one. 
but yeah, if you're looking on how to get into bad support lobby, you have to kill, you have to destroy a lot of personal vehicles, and I mean a lot of them. Um, it's kind of easy to do in the Impressor Mark II because it locks on to players in their vehicles and the missiles on that thing are insane. So, But this all only started once I got the Impressor help trying to help people. I used to try and help them before, but not as much as I did. But it's improved my sniping skills. I've got a few... Um, I've got a few new tactics that I'm debating whether or not to share with you guys just because I haven't seen many people use them so yeah I haven't seen many I haven't seen many people use the tactics that I do so I'm debating whether or not I want you guys to know them because I feel like if the bad type of people watch this then yeah it's gonna be all hell but yeah that's the end of this one day one in GTA prison bad sport experience at the moment not so different to anywhere else apart from I mean somehow I still managed to lose connection but stay in the lobby with me the, with me being the only one in the lobby so somehow that still happens uh, but no there are a lot of people going around on oppressors and jets and blowing people up and people killing themselves because that's the only way that that they can get out of a bad situation with another player is to kill themselves. So, yes, that's the end of this one. Um, I maybe see you tomorrow for day two. Depends what happens. So, yep, have a good one in the outside world. And it's going to be a relief once I come out of bad sport. Jesus Christ, I hate, I'm hating it already. And it's only been about like half an hour. So, See you guys on the outside in about two days.